Hey everybody, day 14. Um, wow, cannot believe that today was day 14. Um, let me see. So this morning, I stepped outside and I walked up to KK and Jake and Kelly who were standing over by the, um, the cafe and, you know, went up to them and KK asked how I was doing and I said I was doing good and then I returned the question and he said, I am blessed. And, you know, I just, I just stopped and I always appreciate hearing that from somebody and, you know, it was, I don't know, it just, it started off my morning right and in the right, with my head and my heart in the right place and, um, you know, God, God bless KK and, and I praise and thank God for putting KK here and he just, he's always like that, like, no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, you can tell that he's always just so aware of how God has blessed him um, in his life. So, yeah. <laughs> so that was how my morning started off. Um, and then Jake and Kelly and I went to the chicken coop. We got our 200 chickens in um, within the past 24 hours. So this morning, the three of us, we, I was like, hey, I see eggs. So Jake goes in, starts getting the eggs and hands them to me and Kelly, um, who are standing outside the fence. And um, so we got seven eggs this morning. They were still warm and we've got them in an incubator. So we're hoping to hatch chicks in the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, really, really excited about that. Um, and then I was in the tasting room with Ben. Um, it's a, I didn't realize how many days it had been since I was in the tasting room with Ben, like not just by myself. So that that was nice. Um, made between us, we made what did we make? At least at least seventy or eighty dollars in tips today. So pretty good day. Um, and yeah, I mean, again, God provides, like, I, with that much in tips, that makes up for the money I spent on gas two weeks ago. So yeah, I mean, I literally have not spent a single penny um, in, in the grand scheme of things since I got here. Um, so there is that, and I mean, it, it wasn't it wasn't that crazy of a day. It was was pretty slow. Um, I mean, people came in in waves again, as they tend to do. So we got slammed at some point, but overall, volume-wise, not not difficult at all. Um, I went out and was marking the poles again in the vineyards today. Um, kind of at about 4.45 in the afternoon, came back in after 45 minutes, um, we got things situated and then Ben let me go a little early, so came back to Sharon's house and got dressed for the barn dance, and you see all these video clips of us, barn, of us square dancing, and um, man, we just, I had a great time, Tim was my partner tonight. Um, and we just, we had a really good, I danced with Jill too um, when we were doing some of the slow dancing in between stuff, but you know, um, Tim's a great partner, so it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, and then, let's see, yeah, I mean, the dance was the highlight of the night. I'm gonna let you guys watch these dances without me. Um, without me commenting on what's going on too much because I think they're fun just to watch by themselves. Um, but yeah, tomorrow... I, I have three days off in a row. I have um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off because Scott wants me to work a double on Tuesday. Um, we have our first farm-to-table dinner, so he wants me again for another 13-hour shift. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow um, I'm going fishing again in the morning with Jimmy and Chris and hopefully Jill. She says she's going to try her best to make it here um, by 5.30. And then um, we're going 
let's see, oh no, my priority tomorrow will be moving in to the intern cabin because we finally have a working um, shower on the bottom floor, which is what I was waiting for because, you know, I take a shower every morning, so having to go outside to go upstairs to take a shower in the morning wasn't ideal for me, so yeah, I was waiting for the bathroom to be all done. Um, so. I'll be moving in there, and then I don't know if that's going to take me all day. Um, I hope it doesn't. If it doesn't, I'm probably going to catch up on sleep. <laughs> um, otherwise, I don't really know what I'm going to do until about 6.15 p.m. And then we are going to go watch Brave um, for sure, me, Jill, Emily, and Lexi. Um, I don't know if any of the guys are coming with us, maybe, maybe not, um, kind of depends on what time they get off work, depends on what time Ben lets Chris off work, etc, etc, um, I don't know, I think Kelly and Patrick are also thinking of coming, other Kelly might come depending on what time she gets off work also, um, but yeah, it'll be nice, nice little, go see a good, decent movie, yeah? Ah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, my day has been awesome. I guess the only not too awesome thing about my day today, and I need prayers, please, because I, um, we have a new server. Um, his name's Jake. He's, I don't know, 18, just graduated from high school, and I do not like his sense of humor. Um, let's just say that He's a little crass and um, just making jokes that, A, that I don't think are appropriate for an 18-year-old boy to be joking about. It puts girls in a very disres- I mean, he's just- yeah, they're not- they're not respectful jokes of girls, um, but I, you know, I just- you know, Ben says it's immaturity, but- I don't know. I I don't I don't think that at 18 that's immaturity. I really think it's just by the time you get to that age, I really think it's bad taste. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I and I just don't um, enjoy his company. And unfortunately, he's the sort of guy that kind of hangs around you. And you know, tonight at the dance, I was kind of avoiding him. <laughs> Because he kept on coming up behind me and like talking like directly over my shoulder like I would freak out. Um, tried to be cool about it, but no, not cool. Um, so yeah, prayers please, because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to be civil and nice and I, I have not lost my temper with him, but some of the things that he said I really just want to slap him and, and tell him, you know, that's no way to talk about girls or, or you know, just there's no way to talk in general. I don't know. I, it's been a really long time since I have run into somebody that I just felt like, like they had that bad of taste, you know. Guys in the kitchen, they'll make jokes that are, I don't know, I guess dirty, you could say, um, but I've never... I, I can't remember the last time I really wanted to smack somebody and try to get it into their head that they're just, I don't know. Anyway, sorry, had to vent. Had to, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, this this video probably won't get uploaded till tomorrow because I am too sleepy <laughs> to go upstairs and upload this. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the square dancing videos and... Thank you all again for following my blog, for praying for me, for keeping up with me. I hope to see some of you um, in the next nine weeks, or eight weeks. Gosh, it's, oh, I can't believe I've only got eight weeks left. That, not cool. Jill and I are already talking about how much we really want to come back here next summer. Uh, so yeah, thank you all, and God bless. God bless. Good night.